Since it's been a while after the release of issue 1 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic comic, I thought I'd share my thoughts on the issue. I'll cover story, art, nods to the fandom, and more. For those who aren't in the know, the My Little Pony comic series is written by the fantastic writer Katie Cook and artwork done by the wonderful Andy Price. The comic hits off a short time after the end of season 2, but before the events of season 3. Queen Chrysalis is at it again, only this time she's knocking right at the main six's front door with an attack on Ponyville. With Celestia MIA, it's up to the main six to fight off the changeling invasion. But what made this comic such a joy to read? I'm glad you asked. The art is amazing, especially the faces. It really has this comic book feel, without losing the great Faustacorn's vision. Not only that, but there is many callbacks to the Brony fandom. From popular background ponies like Time Turner, Derpy, Lyra, DJ Pawn 3, and what may or may not be a blind bag pony, just to name a few. So what did I find wrong with this issue? Well, for starters, the fact that Rainbow Dash just felt too... Season 1. I mean, using words like it's flank whipping time and time to kick some flank, while not completely out of character, it just seemed out of place. Not only that, but there's a point in the comic where Fluttershy loses it in one panel, then it's completely docile the next. It just seemed strange. Then again, she does seem to be getting more violent. Anything happens to them, Twilight, so help me. Honestly, I loved this issue, and I can't wait to read the rest in the series to see where the story goes from here, with recent comic covers hinting at something huge. I hope you enjoyed my review of issue 1. If you found something I missed or would like to share your own thoughts on the issue, comment down below.